somebody's really heavy, whether you're really tired because your cardio is not good enough or something, um, it's a very surprising uh, side control escape, and then you end up in a way better position. So, uh, he has really good side control. His knees are against my body. He's got a good shoulder on my neck turned in. I just feel really heavy here, right? I can't move away, I can't move in, can't get my knee in for that regard. So now I'm gonna get what I what I have and I have to work with this, okay? So the first thing that I'm gonna do is, is just, I want his, his arm pretty deep. So I might even get my head a little bit closer to that bicep and then I'm gonna put my head to the mat, okay? I'm not gonna squeeze it too hard, but I'm gonna pin it right to that mat. So the next thing that I'm gonna do from here is my outside arm I don't want it usually out here because it's killed. I can't do anything. I usually want it on the inside, but on this escape, this is what we're gonna do. I'm gonna keep my arm out, and I'm gonna cut the outside of his knee, and I can even hold on to his ankle here. I usually just use my elbow here. And all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna stop him from posting, okay? And now my feet, I get under my butt, and I'm gonna oopa, but because I'm pinning his arm and his leg, I'm gonna be able to go over his body, okay? And it doesn't matter how big the guy on top is. So once I'm here, hug him close to me, pin that head to that ground, elbow to the outside of the knee, and oopa. And now I have him inside control. Pin that arm down with my head, arm to that knee, and I can switch to the side control that I need from here. Okay.